how to hold a drumstick. If you're brand new to drumming, then it's always a good idea to start straight out the gate with good habits. First and most important thing to note is the grip comes from not your entire hand, you're not gripping on for dear life, but your thumb and your index finger. And you want it to sit kind of around this top crease of your index finger. Enough so when you wrap your hand around it, it feels like you're kind of cradling the stick under your thumb, like so. In terms of how high you want to hold it, you kind of want to hold it two thirds or three quarters of the way up slash down. There's a certain point in the stick called the fulcrum, also known as the balancing point, where the stick just seems to rotate most comfortably and best. So you got this, but it doesn't feel right because it feels a bit loosey-goosey. All you do from here is wrap your fingers around loosely and then you're ready to go. And the key here is to keep these fingers loose because later down the line we're going to use these to propel the stick forward and get all that lovely speed out of the drums. There's what I use which is called match grip, hands are matched, doing the same thing, kind of makes sense. And then you've got traditional grip because they did it first like this. And if you've ever wondered why, it's because when we were marching into war or whatever we were doing 600 years ago, they usually had a drum to the side instead of in front so you could walk better. Then when drum kits came about and snare drums started to get a lot flatter and more in front of us, it just kind of transferred. And now we have people choosing to stay like this or choosing to have match grip. A great example would be Buddy Rich with his traditional grip and terrible posture. Neither is better or worse, they're just different. Now a personal note from me, I find going faster doing singles playing doubles a lot easier when I place my hands or the top of my hands over the top of the stick. Some people prefer the other grip which is your thumb on top. <laughs> Feels very weird to me. The only time I really use that is when I'm on the ride cymbal. The angle just works <laughs> a bit better. If I'm doing more intricate stuff I'll swap between the two. That is also an option. <laughs> so there you have it. How to hold drumsticks and a cliff note history lesson. <laughs> I spoil you, I do. If you want to know more about drum technique or if you're new to drums and you just want loads and loads of grooves that will be really practical and really, really helpful, then check out the new drummer's toolkit. It's a completely free ebook that's got everything you're going to want to know as a brand new drummer. So go and check it out.